Hey folks, it's Bill and you are watching Bill's Box of Sound. You know, Anthony Fantano says that he is the internet's busiest music nerd, but he still has time to make all of these videos, like one or maybe two a day. I'm, I'm a music nerd myself and I listen to a lot of music, but I don't have time to make all the videos that I'd like to make, so. I would like to challenge Anthony Vantano, but the real reason that I am making this video is because I have a review, a long awaited review, a long overdue review of this release right here. Frank Zappa and the Mothers, Whiskey A Go Go 1968. This is a three CD set of all recorded in one night in July of 1968. It's got three CDs. It's got a real good booklet with lots of good liner notes in it. And it comes in three different configurations of which you only need to have one, but the other ones are optional. First of all, the CD, easiest to get, probably the least expensive, and it's got uh, around three hours of music from the Mothers and Frank Zappa, recorded on that wonderful night in July of 1968. Now, if you want the vinyl version, you can get this thing here, the limited edition five record set, which has a full size booklet in it, duplicating everything that's in the CD booklet, but in much higher fidelity and at a much higher cost. Plus, this is a limited edition. So if, if you're watching this right now, you may not be able to get this, but it is ex exclusively available through the zappa.com store run by Universal. And if it's still there and you are a big vinyl fan and you can afford it because this is not cheap, I would highly recommend that you pick it up. And we'll show you more of this in just a moment. But if you're a vinyl fan and you don't want to spring for the whole five record set, there is the two record set of the highlights. And this is a very well put together highlights two record set of all of the music that's uh, on the, the three CD or five record set. A nice bite-sized, very well edited compilation of the highlights of that concert. Now, let's take a look at the inside of that box. All right, here's the box. You can take the top off of the box. It's got this lovely little sticker on the front explaining the package. The discs are made in Germany. And it's got a limited edition slip mat that you can put on your turntable if you do care about such things. Personally, I don't, so I just save it in the box. There is a booklet. This is the same booklet that comes with the CD, only in full size, so you get all of these wonderful pictures. The liner notes from Miss Pamela DeBar. Pictures from stills of movie film that was shot at the show. Also liner notes by the vault master Joe Travers and an interview with Alice Cooper conducted by Amit Zappa. Here's a list of all the songs and there's the back. And you've got the first record, sides one and two. Second record, sides three and four. Sides five and six, sides seven and eight, side nine, and side 10, which has 
custom silk screen artwork. And then of course you've got this lovely thing which helps you take stuff out of the box and you've got the back of the box. Happy? No? Then rewind it and watch it again. So it's really good. And that's pretty much the summation of my, my review. It's good, it's great, it's fantastic. Frank Zappa fans have been wanting this set to be released for years because for decades, back when Frank Zappa was alive, he recorded this with the intentions of it being a live album by the Mothers. But for some reason, uh, not a lot of stuff came out. And there are some parts of the set that have been released before, and I'll let you know as we go through the line. But at long last, through Amit Zappa and the Vaultmeister Joe Travers, they have unearthed the tapes of the entire evening had it completely digitally remixed from scratch because this was an eight track analog recording and put this together in a very consumable format. And these performances are top notch. Zappa hardcore lifelong fans have been saying, when are they going to put out the whiskey a go go stuff? Well, they finally have, and it is well worth the wait. So, Let's start with the beginning of it. Uh, you've got three sets. The first set starts with the whiskey improvisation. The whiskey improvisation starts off with an improvised drum solo by Art Trip, which spreads through to the other members of the band. Who are the other members of the band, you may ask? Well, I shall tell you. This version of The Mothers in July 1968 consisted of Frank Zappa on vocals and guitar, Ray Collins on vocals and percussion, Ian Underwood on alto sax, Bunk Gardner on tenor sax and flute, Don Preston on keyboards and gong, Motorhead Sherwood on baritone sax and percussion, Roy Estrada on bass and Pachuco falsetto vocals, Artie Tripp, or art trip, as it says in here, drum set and percussion, and Jimmy Carl Black on drum set and percussion. Special guests on this are Kim Fowley and the GTOs, the girls together outrageously. Uh, which, by the way, if you're familiar with the girls together outrageously GTOs album, Permanent Damage, there's a wonderful review that's put out by Abigail DeVoe's channel. You should check that out if you are deeply into Zappa. Okay, so this improvisation that's, that starts with the drums and adds through with the other instruments, and of course, Frank Zappa's conducting of the band, goes on for 10 minutes, and then segues into America Drinks and Goes Home. Nice little three-minute ditty, originally from the Absolutely Free album, that goes into a fantastic version of Help, I'm a Rock, originally from the Freak Out album, and it is interspersed with the Transylvania Boogie, which years later would make its first appearance on the Chunga's Revenge Frank Zappa solo album. This is a fantastic version of Help, I'm a Rock. It goes for almost eight and a half minutes, and the melody for Transylvania Boogie goes along great with it, and along with the solos. And Kim Fowley, who made all the ay -oh -ay -oh -ay 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 ay all those noises on the original version of Help, I'm a Rock from Freak Out, he's there, and he is in rare form, recreating his role in that song. Very good. Then it goes into a rap or a rant about buying the rights to some music. And then they go into the song, My Boyfriend's Back. <laughs> yes, the old classic, My Boyfriend's Back and It's Gonna Be Trouble. That goes into Bust His Head, 
another hilarious song. And then we've got eight minutes and 19 seconds of a little thing called the Tiny Sick Tears Jam, which if you're familiar with the Zappa catalog, Tiny Sick Tears was a track on one of the You Can't Do That On Stage Anymore volumes. And this takes that same music and goes through, and it's a fantastic instrumental that goes through. That goes into various iterations and improvisations. The next track is a spoken word called The Purpose of This Evening, almost two minutes long, where Frank explains that this is a recording session and how they're going to run the evening and about the other musical acts that they have that are going to be performing at the Whiskey A Go Go. And then they go into episode two of the Whiskey Improvisations. Almost 12 more minutes of organized improvisation from the mothers. And that goes into Status Back Baby, originally on the Absolutely Free album. And then we have the official premiere of a song written by Frank Zappa and Ray Collins of Memories of El Monte. And it's fantastic. They talk about all the old songs and Ray Collins and his soulful voice are so nice on this. And Ray and Frank have this back and forth on it. And then that segues into O oh in the Sky, which if you're familiar with uh, some of the Frank Zappa bootlegs, you may have heard that before. And O oh in the Sky is the title and also the total lyrics of that song, sung by Pachuco falsetto Roy Estrada, who is also playing bass and is not completely in tune. After that, they conclude the set with Valerie, which was... Uh, which was on the Burnt Weenie Sandwich album. And at that point, they announced that they're going to take a break and the Alice Cooper Band is going to come up and play a set of music. Now, this was the very early days of Alice Cooper's band. They had just recently been signed by Frank Zappa's new record label, Bizarre, and they were performing some of the songs that would be on their first album. And... Their performance is not captured here, but if you do want to listen to it, it is available on a CD that is currently out of print. It's Alice Cooper, Live at the Whiskey, 1969. For some reason, they put 1969 on it instead of 1968. That's incorrect. It was recorded July 1968 at this show. Now, for those keeping score at home, Memories of El Monte and O in the Sky have appeared on the Zappa movie original soundtrack album. That's this thing right here. And I have previously done a review of this. Check my channel. You'll find it. Okay, so that's the end of the first set and the first three sides of the record, and the first CD of the three CD set. Then we go into the introduction to the second set, which is entitled Fun and Merriment. It's a minute 47 of dialogue and etc. And they go into the first song from the first Mother's album, Hungry Freak's Daddy, but with a little bit of a different feel to it. And from there, they go into the song King Kong. Now, King Kong is in two parts. We've got, uh, we've got about eight minutes of the first part, which is similar to the performance that's on Uncle Meat, although quite different with more and exciting solos. And then we go to King Kong part two, which is another almost eight minutes. But in the middle of part two, things change. You get the GTOs coming on stage again. You can hear them singing in the background. And there's hints of the songs getting to know you. And also this is it. This is it, for those of you old enough to remember, is the theme song to the Looney Tunes cartoon show that they showed on television in the 60s and 70s. Quite entertaining. 
And from there, they do the Edgar Varese tune, Octander, a very short version of that, which goes right into the episode three of the Whiskey Improvisation. Now, this is only a short improvisation. It's less than five minutes long. And there's some musical experimentation going on into here. And the next track is called Meow, which did appear on You Can't Do That On Stage Anymore, Volume 5. And Meow segues right into God Bless America. God Bless America, you might remember, was on Uncle Meat. And that's about a minute or so long, maybe even less, like 55 seconds. And then it goes to the presentation of Wings. The GTOs present Wings to Frank Zappa. <laughs> and then it goes into a spirited rendition of Plastic People. It goes along with that. And then they introduce Wild Man Fisher. But you're not going to hear Wild Man Fisher on this album. For continuity as well as legal reasons. This is Wild Man Fisher's album that was produced by Frank Zappa, by the way. Hardcore collectors, you know all about it. So that's the end of the second set. Right now in the five record set, we are at the beginning of side six on the third record. And you will hear Della's preamble. Now what Della's preamble is, is there's one of the GTOs, Della, wants to be hit with a belt. So they talk about that. And then they go and they do the Duke, which at the time, the Duke did not have a title. And some people might know it as Little House I Used to Live In, or parts of Little House I Used to Live In. As Rance Muhammad once said uh, in 200 Motels, I am known by many names, but this iteration of this part of Little House I Used to Live In has been named The Duke, and there are two takes of it. There's a uh, six and a half minute version, followed by a five minute and 28 second version, and they are not quite the same. It's like two choruses of the same melody. And the first take, if you've got the Zappa movie soundtrack, which I showed you earlier, the first take is on that soundtrack. The second take is different and has solos placed in a different order. And Zappa's soloing is off the charts on this entire album. He's all over the place, clean, dirty, wah-wah, blasted out, great stuff all over the place. From the end of The Duke, you hear Khaki Sack, which we first heard on the Zappa album that never was released during his lifetime, Funky Nothingness. This is a fully worked out version of Khaki Sack, which as I've heard on bootlegs, also had portions of Little House I used to live in on it. But this arrangement of Khaki Sack and this version done by the Mothers, top notch. It's fantastic. Continuing set three, going on to the third disc of the three CD set, and sides seven, eight, and nine of the five records set, We've got The Whip, and this is where Della gets whipped. Now, this is a very clean mix of The Whip as performed at the Whiskey A Go Go. Portions of this performance were released on the Meat Light 3 CD set, which is a kind of a project object of the Uncle Meat movies a soundtrack. Uh, it's got the original vinyl mix of Uncle Meat. It's got the original sequence of the Uncle Meat album. 
it's got lots of great stuff on it. If you can find it, it's worth the search. Anyway, part of the whip is found on Meat Life, Meat Life, on Meat Light. That goes for 10 and a half minutes. And then it goes on to Whiskey Choufflé. And Whiskey Choufflé is a further instrumental workout with some great improvisation and some great arrangements with the mothers. And during this song, they ask for celebrities in the crowd to come up on stage and join them, such as members of the Rolling Stones, John Mayall, um, Elliot Ingber, who was a, an original member of the Mothers, who is now with uh, um, the Fraternity of Man. But none of these folks come up onto the stage. Why? We don't know. But this goes into the very first live performance of the song from Absolutely Free, Brown Shoes Don't Make It. And Frank announces that they haven't played it live because it's a pretty difficult song to play live. It was difficult to record, too. And you listen to it, and yeah, it is pretty difficult to perform. But it ends up being pretty good, and I enjoy it. And right at the end of that song, they go into the Brown Shoes Shuffle. Yes, another jamming track going for another 11 and a half minutes. Now, a portion of the Brown Shoes Shuffle also appeared on Meat Light, and the title of that track was Whiskey Wah. And it is Frank jamming on some distorted wah-wah guitar soloing. And that is the end of the show. Frank, uh, thanks everybody for coming, bids the crowd good night, and that's it for the show. But there's two more tracks on the CD and on the five record set. And the first one is a mix of the whip, which was done by Frank. It's 11 minutes long, as opposed to uh, the uh, 10 and a half minute mix that's on this one. Frank constructed this out of the performance at the Whiskey A Go Go, and it has a character all its own. It's a different mix completely. Then the last track on the entire set is a mono mix done by Frank of Hungry Freak's Daddy. So to drill it all down, if you are a fan of the original Mothers, especially the Verve years and the first couple of years on the bizarre Warner Brothers reprise label, you're really going to enjoy the hell out of this. This is one fantastic set. Now, the two record set highlights has the following tracks on it. It starts with Help I'm a Rock with the Transylvania Boogie, and then goes to the medley of My Boyfriend's Back, Bust His Head, and the Tiny Sick Tears Jam. A nice little ni 19 minutes there. Side two has the spoken introduction of Fun and Merriment, and then the performance of Hungry Freak's Daddy, and the long mix of King Kong. Clocking in the side at 18 minutes and 40 seconds. Side three of the two records set has the spoken introduction, the purpose of this evening. It has take two of the Duke, which is really smart because if you already have a copy of the Zappa soundtrack, you've got take one. This is take two on the two records set. And then it ends with khaki sack on side three, that's 16 and a half minutes right there. And the last side is the Frank Zappa mix of The Whip and Brown Shoes Don't Make It. Really a nicely put together highlights reel of the Whiskey A Go Go concert. And I'm pretty sure this is just in regular print. So that's a review of the Whiskey A Go Go set from Frank Zappa and the Mothers. If you're a Zappa fan, you owe it to yourself to at least 
get the three CD set. Now, those of you going CD versus vinyl, personally, I think the vinyl has a little bit of a sonic edge, but only if you've got a good stereo system and you are committed to the vinyl format should you spend that extra money and get that out. Otherwise, the CD version will do you just fine. Or get the CD and the two record set and you can compare the two and enjoy the sonic wonderment of both of these versions of Whiskey A Go Go. All right, that's it. More Zappa videos to come. And later on this year, they're going to put out the apostrophe 50th anniversary boxed set. Oh boy, I can't wait to hear that and tell you about it. So I had a great time. Hope you did too. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you really want to hear more and you're a glutton for punishment, you might want to pick up my album Bleh! by Spudlock, which is available on Bandcamp. It's spudlock.bandcamp.com and you can get a copy of this on vinyl or on digital download. All right. Also, before you go, it would be a crime if I didn't let you know about the Zappacast. Yeah, I'm on the Zappacast, but I don't talk anywhere near as much as I talk here because you got some much better people doing the talking. We're talking about Scott Parker, the originator and host of the Zappacast, and also Joe Travers, the Vaultmeister. Now, in the most recent episode of the Zappacast, as I'm putting this out, we do a deep dive, or we call it a deep dish, into the entire set. You owe it to yourself to listen to it if you haven't done it already. You can get it wherever you get your podcasts. That's the ZappaCast, the official Frank Zappa podcast. Okay, that's enough of the paid promotional announcement for this. I'm going to sign off. Thanks again. I really appreciate everybody who subscribes and watches and go listen to some music. You've got your assignment.